information out. Absolutely. So our next guest, you know, we love to celebrate the arts here in Evanston. Um, not just Evanston, but Chicago, the North Shore, like that's one of our our things is, is art and, and entertainment. And we're all about celebrating that as well. So we have a very special guest coming up and he's actually gonna perform a song for us a little later as well. But I have heard this man play. Goodness gracious, so smooth. I know, I heard him earlier. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to focus on my notes and I'm like, I can't, this music is too good. It feels so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. So we are going to bring up a wonderful musician right here in Evanston, Donovan Mixon. Second one. Right? This is our second episode. Absolutely. We're we're getting it going. Yes. And it's always going to be at the church now. Oh no, we're going to different locations. We're bringing it oh. to the people. Oh, great. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. bringing it to the people. So we're going to be in different locations every month. Oh wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. So welcome, welcome. Thank you. Now you are a man about town. Some who here has been to a Donovan show? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I about that. Yes, I mean, and you draw a crowd. Yes, it's been very, uh, yeah, yeah, been very well populated uh, recently. You know, and it's catching on. Yeah. Yes, I know. I know. I said Evanston, but you're a man about the world, actually, a musician about the world. Yeah, I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around a little bit. He's modest. He's <laughs> modest. Yeah. But Donovan's Garage, yes, this is, and um, since uh, last October, uh, it's been happening and here in, in, the, in the church, uh, thanks to uh, Stephen Rogers. Stephen Rogers was uh, inspired to get in touch after an article came out uh, that uh, Gay Reisenberg, she wrote in the round table about our activities, uh, in my actual garage in on Cleveland Street, and that had been going on since the uh, the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, just doing doing garage concerts, uh, and uh, and so, but then uh, Gay decided I'm going to write about it, and the next week, 200 people showed up <laughs> in the alley. I have the pictures to prove it. It, it looked like Ravinia, and it was really exciting and very surprising. And so Stephen Rogers, the owner of the church, he got in touch and asked if I wanted to uh, continue here during the winter months, you know, because usually I would stop around, around the end of September, stop in the, in the alley. I said, sure, once I saw the place too, with the posted seeds and so forth, and the sound is really great. So we've been doing it once a uh, once a month uh, since October. Uh, the next one, will, which will be the last one in the church for the season, will be next uh, on the 28th of this month, on the 20, May 28th at seven o'clock, and it's going to be a free form jazz concert. But the the point of Donovan's Garage every uh, every every time is different. It's an improvised music. But it's different kinds of it's different bands, different combinations of musicians. We had classical means jazz. We had progressive jazz. We had uh, last lastly uh, uh, what was it? hard bop, the hard bop quartet played and that was really off the hook. And we had uh, Brazilian jazz band played, uh, and that band coincidentally is going to be playing playing uh, on the 25th in the Brazilian festival. This uh, year uh, in uh, Michigan Avenue, and so as a result of this, you know, many things have been stirring up, and I've been meeting a lot of new, uh, a lot of new musicians, a lot of musicians that I maybe I knew of, or I had played once in jam sessions, so I can assemble these different ensembles and do different kinds of music. Yeah, if you haven't seen him perform, you you have to check it out. Uh, 
I came here that one night you had some Brazilian uh, band, yeah. and, and I wanted to get up and dance, but it was in a church. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I should be shaking it up yeah, in but, a church, but it, the music just felt so good. You guys yeah. are really, really good. And we had some, you know, a couple of kids got up and played percussion with them, so mm -hmm. that was very nice. Yeah. Um, Donovan, with everything that's going on in the world right now, like how is that impact? Like you were here listening to the governor and Patty with impact, with all that's just going on in the world and how it just weighs on us too. Like how is that impact? Do you use all of that in your music or how is that impacting the industry? It just that the artists are going to save us. <laughs> the starting, artists are going to save yeah, us? Yeah, I'm starting to come to that conclusion. <laughs> yeah, the artists are going to save us because it's artificial intelligence, you know, I mean, the, right. it's in the name. And so uh, I, I believe that because artists, uh, we, uh, we show reality in its most darkest form. That you can't get from a machine. I, I still don't. I don't believe it. It's you know. It's these are great facsimiles of reality. You know, they are great and they are great tools and so forth. But but artists, that's what gives the uh, gives life. It's uh, it's juice. Yes. Yes. I I I've asked uh, people what what name a career that AI will not take over, and it's always either artist or a chef. So, you know, <laughs> artist or which is kind of the same. A chef is kind of yeah, oh certainly, but it's gonna you know it's gonna give the danger is that it's gonna give some very serious facsimiles of, of art and you know a lot with the marketing and everything, um, it's gonna get passed over you know passed over and as if, as if it's art, unfortunately. But I believe yeah, it's it's I think the artist is gonna play. You know, Actual artists are actually going to play a bigger role in saving us, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Can I just say something about AI? I'm an artist and a visual artist, mm -hmm. and I have used AI, but not to create a work. What I use it for is a variety of things, and I think it will be used a lot in creating work because artists can manipulate AI um, mm -hmm. in many different ways. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if I say I want to just uh, create a, a climate change scene, and then I want to cut it up and collage it along in a painting that I'm doing, I can do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, so AI is a tool to be You know, your art lies, lies in your choices, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, the, um, our, our descendants, African slaves, were brought here and given to everything taken away culturally and then given this mu another musical system and so forth and took the, took the Western musical system and chose other notes, other combination of notes from, from the same notes that was used by the Europeans and created the music that makes American music what it is right now, uh, blues, jazz. So it's really the choices. So yes, AI is a, is a, is a tool. And I, I've, I've used it, so I can do something much more quickly but not, it, but it's, I, ne I can't it use it for art. It I can't use it for actual <laughs> art. I can use it for ideas, you know, to create ideas and prompts, so right. to speak, you know, like, you, like in, if you do a, a writing class or workshop and the person comes up with a prompt, you know, okay, then you as the artist have to make the choices how to use that. You know. right. So, AI is yeah. definitely taking over the world, but I don't believe it'll ever take away the soul and the spirit of an artist. No, absolutely. I won't. Absolutely. No, I don't fear it. Donovan, where can people download your music? Where can, oh, where can they find yeah, your music? Well, you can find out, oh, my music at, at uh, Bandcamp. Bandcamp.com. I, I can go to my name and I sell music there. 
And uh, please go to DonovanMixon.com and check out uh, the activities of uh, the garage because I post. And I post uh, uh, video excerpts from the garage concerts on YouTube and Facebook. There's a Facebook page. So if you want to uh, learn about the garage, it's all there. There's no excuse. Just look at it. <laughs> and I know you're about to perform a song for us, and it's, it's a new song. Could you tell us a little bit about it before we dive on in? Well, no, it's, it's not a new song. I'm, we're just going to play play something and play it on a, on a, on a tune. For, yeah, it's not a new song, unfortunately, but next time, perhaps. Okay, yeah. sounds good. We'll yeah. book it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Don. Thank you. And thank you for joining us, yeah. and the door's always open yeah. to you, too. Thank we love some good music. And good luck with this. Ooh. This is beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Derek Lays, um, he's a, a bassist and has been here a number of years now. A number of years, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know, but it's been a number of years. From, from, uh, <laughs> from New York, I believe, and uh, he's a great bassist and I was really happy he said he would come and, come and join us uh, t today. Um, we, we'll, we'll play a brief, a brief rendition of uh, McCoy Tyner's Three Flowers. I, I haven't talked to McCoy Tyner <laughs> about this before, before, but I, I assume he calls it three flowers because it's in three four, and it's in three keys. And what what else? What, what would be the third thing? Three keys and three four. What would you say? Looking at the song, and maybe play it with a trio. Um, maybe play it with a trio. <laughs> Thank you. 
the um, concept of people coming together, getting an opinion of the people who live, the, 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 the people who live in Evanston, and um, just and, and the nice mixture of socioeconomic, different socioeconomic, different people groups, um, ages. So, yeah, and I wanted that. Plus, I know I don't really know Malika, but I wanted to find out what uh, this was. was. So each, this was the third episode, and it keeps getting larger, and we need more and more people to come out and really participate in and be engaged. We need to be engaged in these time periods. So come out and be engaged. Ask the questions you want to ask. Find out the information we need to find out. Uh, this is an important year. Better now than any time. So, thank you.